Did you know that it is now possible to clone your beloved family pet? But do you get an exact copy? Is it safe? Is it ethical? Watch this. To most pet lovers, our cherished once-in-a-lifetime dog or cat should remain just that. But new technology is giving some pet owners new options. Genetic Savings and Clone, a gene banking and cloning service for pets, is currently offering to store a pet's genetic material in hopes that the owner will take advantage of cloning that pet in the future. In a recent survey, 80% of the respondents were not in favor of cloning pets or the selling of genetically altered animals as pets. But for the 13% of respondents that are in favor of pet cloning, financial issues may well be the obstacle. Currently, the cost to bank a pet's DNA, or genetic material, varies from $300 to $1,400. The cost for cloning is a different story. According to the company, you can expect to pay $32,000. While tremendous publicity accompanies cloning successes, the public rarely hears about cloning failures. The greatest publicity surrounds the cloning of pets, when actually, the majority of cloning is concerned with agriculture, biomedical research, and the propagation of endangered species. Cloning opponents contend that an exact replica of a pet is impossible, as training, experience, and environment are all keys to an individual's behavior and personality. While moral and ethical issues of cloning pets continue to be argued, both sides seem to be closer concerning the problem of endangered species. While there may be some applications in biology, the cloning of pets does not appear to be either necessary or financially viable. The $32,000 price tag will make the decision for most pet owners, but cloning pets does raise some very interesting moral and ethical questions. And remember, it's the training and socialization of a pet that makes them a highly individual companion. And you can't clone that. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.